What's going on guys? We are here at Bishop RV Center taking a look at this really interesting kind of a mid to entry level large toy hauler. And I think a lot of people might like this design, especially if you're looking for essentially that full-size toy hauler, but you don't want to pay the premium prices that you see on a lot of them. This is a Triton by Voltage. Let's take a closer look. So the Voltage is a Dutchman product, and again, this is kind of an entry level into large toy haulers. Some of the things that you might not get on this that you might get on a higher end toy hauler would be auto leveling system. It's going to be optional on here, what might be standard on a standard higher end voltage. There are some other subtle differences, but let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this has a maximum payload capacity of 4,100 pounds. It has a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,800 pounds. Definitely dually territory. I would absolutely recommend if you're going to be towing this, you'd want to do it with an F-350, a 3500 HD, or 3500 series dually pickup truck. Also, it appears all the slides are cable-driven slides. Here is your water connection panel, which is actually not behind the door here where it typically would be. It's right off to the side. This is where you'd put your city water connection, your tank flush, as well as your power connection, cable, satellite, and your fresh water fill. One area where you can see that this is more an entry level is the fact that it doesn't use slam latches on this side door, even though you get a very large pass-through storage for the front of this. This is a toy hauler, so this is generally one area where you don't see huge pass-through storages, but this has a relatively nice pass-through storage. Aluminum frame. This does ride on a 10-inch I-beam frame. You can see how clean the bottom of the slides are when they use these cable-driven slide systems as well. Carrier Lodestar tires. It does not have a suspension equalizer. It's definitely something I would add to this unit. Your fueling station is here in the back, so this is going to be where your fuel spout is, and this is going to be how you fill up the fuel station in here in case you have toys and things that you need to have fuel for back ramp door. I do like that they equip it with LED lighting. They have kind of your spotlights as well, your scene lights to illuminate this area if it's dark outside. Going around to the other side, you can see that it has dual entry aluminum steps both on the front and rear as well as a cable driven main slide up here. Let's take a look in this coach and this is the 3551 series. So coming inside, it has a relatively traditional toy hauler floor plan, but what I like about this over some toy haulers is that they didn't put the TV sunk back real far so it's hard to see. So if you have people sitting here, it's not going to be much of a stretch, literally, for them to see the TV because it's placed almost right in front of them. You do have your standard toy hauler loft up here. Nice tall slide heights. They go well above your, your traditional head height, as well as lots of cabinetry. Has a really well laid out kitchen overall. A lot of countertop space here. You have more countertop space here and a lot of storage. Now this storage is kind of high. So if you're not that tall, this might be a challenge for you. Opening up the cabinets, you can see on this side that you have your controls for your Max Air fan, which is the fan up here, as well as your lights. Then inside of this cabinet, you're going to have all your slide controls, your tank heaters, as well as your water pump. Has a air conditioning that's ducted up here. Thermostat controls right here. Walking up the steps to the main bedroom area. Queen size bed. Again, lots of room around the side of it. Very toy hauler-ish. They typically don't put the bed in the slide on a toy hauler. Right here, you're going to have your wardrobe slide, which is a slide, and this is where your closet space and some drawers are going to be. This has a second AC unit up front. Has a very impressive bathroom the shower is huge. This is absolutely one of the larger showers I've seen on a toy hauler. Looks to be pretty much residential side and it is a one piece shower system. So typically in this price point, it's gonna be a two piece system. Porcelain toilet, nice countertop area here and a lot of storage in the bathroom that you traditionally don't get on toy haulers. Nice medicine cabinet area. Now working our way towards the garage. Has a good size garage. Looks like it is a 10 foot garage. Has of course the second entrance here. Lots of windows on the side. 
This, of course, kind of comes down and you can turn that into a huge bed, whereas these can also fold flat and turn into a huge bed. Overall, this is a really nice space. Now, this isn't going to be made for extremely long toys because, it, again, it only looks like it's a 10-foot garage. But for your typical golf cart, side-by-side -side quad, they should fit fine in here, especially if you have motorcycles. Going into the half bath. It's a relatively small half bath, but very functional. This would come in really handy for people who need a second bath back here, especially if you're using this as a bunkhouse. Has your mounts for your TV up here, all your cable connections and power. And this is kind of cool. So this is a vent that you can open up to allow cool air to come in, especially if you're driving down the road and you need air to flush out maybe the smell of fuel or whatnot that might be in the back here. So this is a great place for that. Again, a lot of windows, very bright back here. One thing that's pretty interesting to point out is the massive door they put here. This door is probably three and a half feet wide. This entrance is simply huge. So you got a lot of space in here. You could probably even roll a motorcycle into this area. Overall though, this is a pretty nice floor plan. And these aren't that high priced. I mean, this is a $53,900 unit. I'm sure they'll negotiate some off of that, but these are pretty aggressively priced for what they are, especially for the size of coach you get and the amount of accommodating room you get in them. So yeah, it's a pretty impressive coach. Anyways, this one's over here at Bishop RV Center. I like the straight profile roof that you get on top of this as well, so it doesn't arch down. Typical to toy haulers that you get this look, but this is a pretty sizable unit for the price that you're gonna pay. You could do a few little upgrades to it and you could really have a very reliable coach for the road. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you again very soon.